Here we have two week old Labradoodle puppies from Van Nile Doodles and this video is the litter update. Today we are going to tell you about each of the puppies, what they've accomplished over the last week, give you a little bit of an update on Mama Holly here and also just tell you a little bit about the general, uh, the litter in general. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Nile Doodles and this is the much anticipated litter of large mini uh, Australian Labradoodle puppies and today we're going to have some big news about each of the puppies which you'll be able to see with your own eyes. So Holly's doing great. She's really settling in nicely to her role as a mom. She's a bit happier now that she gets to go outside a little bit more. Holly is a really active girl so she really enjoys her outdoor time where she gets to run around, play with the other dogs uh, and she's finally eating on her own again which is is great from my perspective and uh, what we finally worked out with Holly is that rather than having the frozen raw right now she is interested in eating freeze-dried raw I figure it's because that's the most expensive product that a dog can eat so <laughs> she's enjoying freeze-dried venison rabbit beef and lamb and she also has uh, one of her meals every day is also made up of bones so this morning for breakfast she had uh, a whole turkey neck uh, and yesterday she had some fresh lamb slices she had some lamb ears and she had a couple of duck feet for one of her meals so that seems to be working really well with her works well with her digestion it gives lots and lots of nutrients and calories and protein for her and for the puppies and all of these puppies at their two-week mark have doubled their birth weight so that's really good so that is the best indication of all that Holly is getting all the nutrition that she needs because her puppies are all thriving and meeting their milestones so let's go ahead and go through each of the puppies. We're going to do them in birth order. They're all nursing like crazy right now, so they'll probably all be really mad at me when I disturb them, but they're big enough now that uh, I don't worry about it as much as I do when they're very first born. So we're going to start with light blue collar. If I can find him, I think he's maybe right underneath here. They get so, yeah, there he is. So he's going to not be too pleased with losing this prime spot at the milk bar here. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, I just have to persuade him to let go. So you can see how, uh, how much vitality these puppies have in that it's hard for me to get them off when they're at the milk bar. And look, there's your big surprise for the litter. We have eyes. So this handsome fellow was the first one to open his eyes actually, and he's had his eyes open since Wednesday. So he was the very first one and everyone else followed uh, pretty much on Thursday with one or two on Friday. Our, so this is our little handsome chocolate phantom boy and he's now weighing 434 grams so he's done just great for his weight gain and you can still see that he's, his little weight on his chest is starting to show through a bit more he's got those really pretty little dip toes and his phantom markings are just uh, really pretty to look at he's a very handsome fellow so that's our little light blue collar and we'll see if he can find himself another good spot there if he's got to fight his way in to get it, get in there. Next is going to be purple collar. And if Holly will just, there we go. Here's purple collar. So purple collar's got a funny story today. Purple collar, so the puppies are all um, starting to go to the bathroom a bit on their own now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And sometimes if you're at the bottom of the pile or at the wrong end, if you're at the receiving end, you sometimes get a little bit of poop on your head. So the uh, little purple collar got some poop on her head here. I just was washing it off before we did the video. And uh, so you can see she has her eyes open too. And you can see she's doing all of the motions there thinking that there should be a milk bar really uh, quite close to me here. What the heck's going on? Why don't I, get, why can't I find anything? And you can see her, uh, this side uh, anyways, you can see that her color is darkening a bit in the caramel. You don't get a good representation here because that was where we had to do a little bit of the 
poop head cleaning, yeah. And Purple has gone to 375 grams. So she's doing really nicely with her weight gain. She has a really beautiful coat. It's lovely, soft. It's going to be quite a straight coat, I think, too. So that's our little purple collar girl. We'll let her go back and finish her lunch there. Next we have blue collar. And blue collar I think is over underneath here somewhere. Oh my goodness, here you are blue collar. Yep, another one. They're all just glommed right on there and so reluctant to have me convince them that they should leave. Not that I'm really convincing them, I don't think, because I don't think they really ever agree that it's a good idea. Holy macaroni, this one's really got the suction on there. <laughs> Come on, Blue. Come on. There we go. Oh, my goodness me. And Blue is our little um, chocolate party girl. Sorry to disturb you like that. Oh, my goodness, I know. And her eyes are open, too, as you can see. Now, this little girl has some sable in her. If you look just above her eyes where her eyebrow chits are, you can see there's a little bit of a lighter color there, which I believe is probably some of the sable coloring she's getting from her mama Holly. You can't really see it anywhere else on her brown coloring yet, but it is a little tiny bit up there on the eyebrows. So we'll just watch how that develops. And blue color is up to 404 grams. So she's way up near the top of the scale there. She's doing really well with her weight gain. Yes, you are. She's a, such a pretty little chocolate phantom. Her markings are lovely and symmetrical. So when she's uh, growing up, she's really going to be quite a, quite a looker. And the pattern on, the, on her back through her body is really pretty and my favorite is that she has these white markings on the dark part of her tail there which is quite unusual and put her back there so she can dig her way in to find a spot next is orange collar also well, maybe i can make a trade maybe if i take orange collar oh no i think yellow is going in for the attack where orange collar was but there is an open spot right there blue there you go oh there we go phew here we go, Orange. Hello, Orange. Hello. And Orange also has open eyes. And Orange is a, is Orange is a girl, yes. And Orange is our little black girl with the... She's a... Oh, oh, Holly's left now. Everybody will be much easier to access. She is um, a black sable. She has some very weak phantom markings. Um, but I think that really that is just the fact that she's a sable. Uh, she's not a phantom. So she, her color is going to change a fair bit as time goes on. Uh, but she's a, just the most beautiful. You can see how her coat just gleams. My favorite color is this ebony. And I like it because of the way the coat just gleams. And it's almost like a mirror. It's just the prettiest thing. And Little Miss Orange Collar is up to 391 grams. So she She's also doing very well with her weight gain. And after orange collar, we have green collar. And green collar is right here. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, green. Oh, and green is our little phantom girl. She's a chocolate, and she's also willing to show you her eyes. Sometimes when we do the pictures of the puppies, they are so sleepy after the video that they uh, won't show us their eyes open. And when I'm holding them for the pictures, they just, they kind of fall asleep. But uh, when we do the video, it's a really good opportunity to see their eyes, especially when they're all a little bit upset that the milk bar has exited. So the little green collar is up to 485 grams. So this is now the biggest puppy in the litter. And you can tell, you can't see so much the difference in the size, but you can in the heft. So when I'm holding on to them, I can really tell that there's a, a good substantial difference in this puppy from the other puppies. Oh, we're getting some protests over here because mom deserted us. It's so disappointing when mom leaves. Uh, next after green collar is yellow collar. And this is yellow collar right here. Yeah, hello, baby. And this is our little black phantom boy. Hi. And he's got his beautiful little peepers showing, too. You show everybody your pretty eyes. Yeah, because he's such a handsome boy. So this little fellow is a really good-looking boy. And he's so, somewhat similar to Holly. Um, although Holly's points are more this creamy color that he has over here where his white's spilling over and his points his tan points are actually tan and you can see them on the side of his face there 
on his chits above his eyes and on his back legs here and his little toes are dipped in white which is so cute and he has a little bit of white up here on his chest which is his phantom markings are in white instead of copper there and then on his vent he also has the, the phantom markings right mr yellow and mr yellow is 474 grams so he is just second to green collar that we just saw before him yes yeah, that's you I'm talking about. And then he has that adorable little goatee. And the goatee is courtesy of his maternal grandmother. No, nope, great grandmother, Bijou. His uh, maternal grandmother is Spirit. Spirit is Holly's mom. There we go, sweetheart. And after yellow collar, we have brown collar. There we go, brown. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. There we go, sweetheart. And brown is, what are you, sweetheart? Brown is a little girl. Hi. Are you going to show your eyes? Yeah. There we go. And you can see, especially ooh, in the parties, when their faces are white, you can see that the eyes are blue. Puppy's eyes all start off blue, but they won't stay blue. So when they're got the white face like this or the chocolate, hello, they're going to mostly be hazel colored eyes as they mature. And then the black puppies will have a dark, dark brown eyes, almost black looking. Ooh, just like a little bit of cool. But yours will be hazel. Yes, they will. They'll be hazel. And this little girl is an extreme party, which means that she is almost all white. So she has this really gorgeous little half ear, which is half chocolate and half white. And that's just going to be so pretty as she gets older. And then she has a little tiny smidge of color down right at the base of her bum there. That's a little bit. So she is almost all a white dog. We find that the white dogs all have the most delicious personalities. I don't know if it's uh, just coincidence, but so far all of our white puppies have been everybody's favorite and everybody's just raved about them and they're always so much fun. Yes, maybe that's what you'll be like too. So that's our brown collar. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. And last but not least is red collar. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, did I tell you brown colors weight? 432 grams now. I think I might have forgotten that. And red collar is a boy, right? Oh no, you're a girl, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. <gasps> We've got 33 puppies right now, so sometimes I get their genders mixed up. Yeah, and this is red collar girl who is another one of the chocolate phantoms. And she is a really a strongly marked phantom. You can really see the tan points on the side of her face. They're, they're quite dramatic. Sometimes you just get a little bit here and sometimes you have like her where it's really like the whole side of the face has the color, which makes it really stand out a bit. Where are you going? Hey, are you trying to go somewhere? Oh my goodness, I know. It was very upsetting that mommy left. Oh dear. Uh, Holly is right beside me so they can all smell her and that's why they're all so anxious to be moving around and try to get to where Holly is. So and this little girl has no white on her. She just has the tan points. I don't think she has white even on her toes anywhere. No, no white, no white. So she is a phantom, not a phantom try. It's the white that makes it a try because you have the three colors. And this little lady is 440 grams. So, oh my goodness. And you can see they can talk quite loudly when they want to. Lots of protests. Holly, do you wanna come back to your babies? Maybe it's a good time because I think this one might want you. Holly, 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 Holly. No, nope. she says, no, nope. uh, not right now. Holly's distracted a little bit because we do have another litter in here. And uh, so for moms, when they're paired up with an, uh, another litter nearby, they're curious and interested. And there's also a degree of competition with the moms and also a, a degree of protection from the moms. So generally what will happen is the mom will check things out and uh, walk around and because I'm here, she's content to leave the puppies feeling that they're safe in my custody, but she'll walk around and look and see if there's actually any danger lurking that she needs to be aware of. And this is to bite, despite the fact that uh, it's Austin and her puppies who are in here. Holly and Austin go outside together, they eat together, they play together, which is all fine. But when uh, mamas and their puppies get together, uh, everything goes out the window in terms of the rules and uh, looking after the puppy becomes the girl's sole and primary focus.
So it's really important that you keep the mums separated when they are anywhere near their puppies. Uh, you don't ever want to have girls looking at or being close to another girl's puppies because their instincts and their hormones can sometimes kick in and it's not a pleasant result. And girls will fight one another too to protect their puppies. So it's just best if we keep them all separated and uh, always supervised so that nothing uh, untoward ever happens. So the puppies are doing great. We're really happy that they all open their eyes uh, right on schedule. These guys are hitting all their milestones just tickety-boo. Next week, uh, we may see that some of them have their ears open. Usually they'll all open their eyes at about the same time, but quite often their ears open at uh, sometimes a four and a five and even a six day interval. So they may all have their ears open and uh, maybe just one or two. We'll just have to wait and see until next week. Uh, next week we'll worm all the puppies again as we're on the two week schedule for that. So when they're three weeks old, that will be one of the things that happens with them. Uh, we've had to loosen all of their collars and it may be by next, next week that uh, their baby collars are too small for them and we have to move them into the uh, larger juvenile size of, of collars. And uh, Holly's enjoy some visits from her parents and uh, they are coming back again to see her on Saturday. Yes, mommy and daddy are coming to see you on Saturday. The first time when they were here, she had a little bit of a reaction to it. Uh, so we, uh, we had them wait for a few more days to come back and visit her again. Sometimes the very first time, it's, it's hard for a girl. It's confusing. And unfortunately, due to COVID, we can't let our guardians in to see the puppies. And most of the mom dogs really enjoy showing their mom and dad their puppies. They're really proud and they like to show them off. So it's, it's, it's tough for them when they're not able to do that. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask anything about their colors or their patterns or the diet that we feed Holly. Uh, and we hope you can give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next week for our week three update.